Hi, my name is Levi Ames. I'm the Forward Jamesville intern. October is Manufacturing Month, and we want to take this time to highlight some of our Forward Jamesville members and local manufacturers. Manufacturing is Wisconsin's top industry, contributing $65 billion in annual economic output to the state's GDP. It's also an important industry in Rock County, having a foundational part in our economy since 1836. Angie Energy System manufactures gas compression equipment and is a leading supplier in compressed natural gas refueling equipment and systems. Its headquarters and manufacturing facility is here in Jamesville, Wisconsin. I'm here with Jason Waldrop, Angie's Director of Operations. Can you give us a little background on your business? Uh, sure. So um, Angie has been around uh, since 1983. Uh, we are uh, North America's leading supplier of equipment, uh, refueling equipment for the compressed natural gas industry. Um, we serve, uh, kind of say, from a light duty to heavy duty to fleet vehicles, um, and CNG is a diesel alternative. So um, rather than the higher prices of, uh, of diesel, um, CNG is an option uh, that's out there in the, in the industry. Um, another cool aspect of it is uh, um, RNG, which is renewable natural gas. Uh, so gas that is created by landfills, by um, bio, be it uh, dairy or water filtration, um, you can actually uh, capture that gas and convert it into a usable fuel for vehicles. Um, it's uh, not so widely used in uh, the light vehicle industry, which is going to be vehicles that you or I would drive around, uh, but from the heavy uh, industry, um, again, think of like fleet vehicles for uh, waste management, so the folks that pick up our trash. Uh, they'll actually pick up the trash, they'll take it to uh, the landfill, the landfill can create gas that's then converted into a consumable gas uh, by the truck skimmer, um, UPS, FedEx, um, Amazon, those fleet delivery type of vehicles uh, use a lot of CNG as well. Um, some other things that we're getting into are other alternative fuels, hydrogen uh, being one of those. Uh, hydrogen is another um, called fossil fuel gasoline diesel alternative, uh, much cleaner, um, very new. Uh, as of a couple of years ago, there are only about 45 dispensers you know, in uh, North America. Uh, but a lot of uh, work by our government and states to kind of subsidize the, the building of those um, systems to get them back into, or to get them into uh, our infrastructure. Uh, so we'll be uh, developing more um, out there in the near future. So pretty exciting times. Yeah, that is exciting. Um, is there anything particularly notable about your production process? Anything unique that kind of makes you guys stand out in your industry? Um, so we are, uh, like I said, the, the leading North America. There's not a lot of folks that do uh, that do what we do. Uh, we like to think that we do them very well. Uh, one thing that is notably different about Angie compared to other facilities is really how we uh, test our equipment at the end of the cycle, uh, uh, FAT, final acceptance testing. We actually have a building that uh, was constructed a number of years ago that can basically duplicate whatever the site um, uh, system needs to be. So if it's got this flow with this amount of pressure, our building can duplicate that. So when we run equipment, we can test it under site conditions. Uh, so it's uh, kind of a badge of honor. It's something that's not out there in the industry and we try to test it to be as um, efficient, effective, and safe as we can before it goes out to the actual, uh, actual site. That's very cool. So, so part of highlighting your business is to show Jamesville youth that there are career opportunities right in their own backyard. As an employer, what skills are you looking for in young people and what advice would you give me if I was looking for a job in manufacturing? Sure. I, I think the biggest part is really uh, ability to learn. You know, we, we have systems that we can teach folks. Uh, there needs to be a, a level of mechanical aptitude. Um, so somebody coming in that's never touched a wrench or, you know, a power tool, um, we'll have a hard time, you know, to be honest, but somebody that has a level of mechanical aptitude and can learn, um, we would uh, we'd like to um, say that we can find a place. Uh, there's some skill sets that are um, easier to pick up than other ones. You know, there's some job functions that are more involved than others. Uh, but yeah, mechanical aptitude uh, is, is kind of where it's at. And yes, we absolutely have openings. Um, talked uh, about our um, other things that are coming down the pike. Uh, with more openings to come, so that's yeah. awesome. There's obviously great opportunities right here in your own backyard, so if you're looking for a job, you know where to come. <laughs> Thank right. you for your time. Thanks a lot. Yep.